The right time for gaming is now. Now you're asking me why the hell am I saying that whatsoever? Well, let me clear my throat. <coughs> and I'll tell you why. And the main reason why is that now and then, then, and I'm saying then is the underlying statement here, there was released video games, right? You with me? You're on the same page? We're all dancing on the same beat, the same drum, the same rhythm, the same bass line. Are we all together now? Yes, we are in the conga line in this concept. Everyone here likes mixture of new games and old games, or people just flat out like classic retro inspired games or just old games in general. They like using, booting up their old computers, booting them up, refreshing them, re replacing the parts when possible, making a soldering point to replace said old consoles. The list goes on to the dedication towards their older gen consoles. Uh, that being said, some people like being the 4K Master Race and happen to be inside the community as well. The Master Race, I'm meaning those folks who like to have the high stunning graphics in their computers. Because, let's face it, these people like tech demos more than actual fucking games here. So, they, oh, well, I like five minute games that look super good. You know, fine. That's what they like. It's awesome. Everyone wins. And that's the other underline. Everyone wins. Because no matter what, no one, no matter what we all say about each other's games, there's always going to be a game that we're all going to have to sit down and like. Even people who don't even like playing video games will probably point out one fucking game they like. That's a good thing. So, in this day and age, and including into the future, while some people say, well, the gaming community's dying, or the, the genre itself, or the, the concept of video games is dead, no, it's not. It's far from dead. It's like people saying that the movie industry is dead when, quite frankly, there is a margin line of people stealing movies and not paying for them ever. Whatever. So, in a day and age of information and technology, yes, people are going to steal technology. That's just how it is. People are going to steal software. That's just how it is. People are going to steal things despite themselves because they have this entire stigma that they're somehow the white knights of free thinking when, quite frankly, they're the fucking... Uh, free thinkers of just bootlegging shit. That's all they're doing. They're just stealing shit. So at the end of the day, you pay for your product, they steal theirs. Guess what? There's a margin line down the line that the company is still making their money, just not as much as they wish they could. But hey, whatever. With a industry full of independent thinkers, this is also yesteryear as well. We had a lot of independent thinkers, such as Tim Schafer, even though some people think he's the uh, the lunatic fringe, which he kind of is the pop socket right now, or the uh, sock puppet. But anyway, you basically had free thinkers like that. You had Bill Gates, who was a free thinker at the time. And look at him, he's the richest son of a bitch alive right now. Next, Oprah Winfrey, I suppose, if I, I think that even counts anymore. And you basically have an industry full of Sid Meier's. You have people like Peter Molyneux, even though he's not really relevant anymore. And it's sort of a massive molding pot of free th radical thinkers. Yes, you had people like Capcom back in the Nintendo Entertainment System days who used to pump out AAA titles that made your testicles just ripen. You... Ooh, 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 pardon me. It made you the most ripest person who would wear a Speedo and carry plums. That's how freaking majestic it was. And how great it was. And that's the beautiful thing. Again, you can go back to those games like we all can and enjoy those games. They're just available for us to use in any media or format available. Through USB, through stick, through... And stick mean, of course, the stick drive. They're like, oh, okay. Uh, hard drives, solid state drives, you know, physical copies, you know, bootlegged copies on your computer. It just the list goes on. So many beautiful and robust games that are available at your fingertips or through your pointing finger if you're using a slider device. And again, such a beautiful day. It's a great time in gaming. Some people will disagree because oh, well, the gaming industry is just nothing more but a bunch of lean your ass garbage. It doesn't mean you still can't go back and play the older games, does it? Or nor are you even paying attention to the said independent companies that are actually putting out games which are pretty robust, such as Project CD or CD Project. That company puts 110% effort in their games. Again, it's just a massive list of companies that do this, put more effort than you actually even pay attention to because you're too busy complaining about EA and Ubisoft to even care. And you're thinking to yourself, well, this guy's bouncing everywhere when it comes to this. It's because that's the whole point. There's so much to even look at that people are just blindsided, they're nearsighted about this whole subject that they just can 
continue to bitch and complain about these said things. Well, you're bitching and complaining. No, I'm just pointing out the obvious fact here about people when they're coming with the video games and everything else related to that. Now, every single time I see somebody talk about a video game, I see, oh, look at you, buddy. Look at you. You're just looking at that game. And you're going, holy crap, that game is just a pile of shit. It's like, no, that game ain't a pile of shit. You just don't like it. That's all. That's a, a stigma in your freaking head. And people are like, oh, my God, that's a that's a stigma in my head. Oh, my God, you're, you're an asshole. Blah, 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 blah. Then, they, of course, the keyboard knights become angry. They shine up their armor really bright and majestic, and they shout and scream about how these companies don't pay attention to them. Such, for example, Destiny. Let's talk about Destiny for a second. No, it's not your Destiny. It's not going to be your bright and uh, colorful Destiny because it's a game that's all right, it's fun, but it has its problems. But one thing that makes me laugh my ass off is that people bitch about it constantly, day in and day out. It's just like Call of Duty. People hate the shit out of those things. It's like a bipolar relationship. Are you with me so far? Of course you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are on ball and on key with me. That's why I love you all. So... You look at these people looking at this game, they go, Oh my god, there's so much bullshit in this game, and yet they keep on playing it. Why? Because of that fun factor? Yes. Uh, there's so many other games out there that they can just easily play without even second thought, second whim? Yes. Why aren't they giving up on that game? Because they're trying to find that first element of fun gameplay. Which, of course, that can of course be said with a lot of retro gamers. Everyone wants to always find that crisp refreshment of why they know why they love video games it's just how it is the digital media that goes in their brain it stigmatizes them it stimulates them it makes them hard erect and just cockatazzling fucking amazing i just invented the word i think i don't know so yes this is the perfect time for gaming why because no matter what there's always going to be something that you can find to settle down with and enjoy humbly there's no question about it you like JRPGs, you like FPS shooters, you even like strategy games, you like RTS games, you like action games, you like platforming games, you like side-scrolling shooter games, you just like vertical shooter games, everything at your leisure. 3D platforming games, the list goes on. You with me so far? Absolutely. So, yes, perfect time for gaming.